Hey learners, Jared here, and given the circumstances for this week, I thought we should look at some birds. Some really big, angry birds. Hey guys, let's lower your tryptophan and get ready for episode 3 of APP Physics. So there are a lot of aspects in Angry Birds that we can analyze. The one I want to look at this week is the cute little piggy that is swinging on what appears to be an invisible rope in the Valentine's season of Angry Birds. Now, something swinging on a rope under the influence of gravity we generally call a pendulum, which moves through simple harmonic motion. Now, taking a look at the graph here, we see that this motion is sinusoidal. Now, there's a very rhythmic element to this motion. And that motion of swinging back and forth is governed by a couple of things. One is the length of the string, and two is the gravity under which it is influenced by. Now this T here is period, and that is the time it takes to get back to its original position. So if I start the timer here, I swing and come back, and that instant is the time it takes, or the period. Now gauging by the projectile motion of an angry bird, we can calculate and scale this, and I scaled the slingshot to be 4.9 meters, if I make the gravity that of Earth. Now what we can do is test and see, is it the same gravity governing the piggy? And if so, we should be able to get a measurable length for the string that the piggy is hanging from. Now, using the previous equation and isolating L, I get L equals T squared times gravity divided by 4 pi squared. And plugging in the period, or time it takes from trough to trough or crest to crest, I get 9.915, which isn't 9.582, but it's only off by 40 centimeters. Now, another way to think about these pendulums is energy. At the very top of my swing, I have all potential energy due to gravity because at the very top of my swing, on either side, my instantaneous velocity is zero. Now, at the bottom of my swing, we can imagine that as having only kinetic energy. That is where it is moving the fastest. All of that potential got converted into kinetic. Here we have simple harmonic motion for a pendulum. For a spring, the period of oscillation is very similar, but depends upon different things. It is mass divided by the spring constant. Okay. 